It's time for Ask Mogo. The segment where I, Mogo, the living planet, answer your questions. Today's question comes from David, who writes, Dear Mogo, who invited nachos? I just want to know. Thanks. Well, David, this question uh, is, is vexing to Mogo on several accounts because, first of all, the question as it's written is who invited nachos, not who invented nachos. Uh, because we all know, you know, those are two different and separate questions. Uh, the question of who invited nachos, well, that's really an existential question because, you see, Mogo, me, I'm a living planet. I'm sentient. I can reason. I'm aware of my own existence. However, nachos, not sentient, not living, in fact, Nachos, while not sentient, are a wonderful meal, however. Uh, very good, uh, very tasty, but not aware of its own existence. So, inviting the nachos, uh, really uh, a useless gesture. Because even if the nachos wanted to come, they're not aware that they can come to this place, or this party, or whatever it is you are having. So, so inviting the nachos, really a, a waste of time. You can bring the nachos, but the nachos are not aware of their own bringing. Uh, secondly, uh, it could be taken to mean who invented the nachos. And we all know nachos were invented by a man named Ignacio Anaya, uh, who was nicknamed Nacho Anaya. And uh, he created them while working at a restaurant uh, in Coquilla, Mexico, in 1943. And originally they were known as Nachos Especiales. And uh, the, the original nachos were uh, it included fried tortilla chips, melted cheese, and jalapenos. Now, Mocha, while a fan, of the nachos, even though they are not sentient and living beings, uh, does not uh, prefer them in that form. Uh, Mogo prefers his nachos to be chicken nachos, which includes uh, pieces of uh, seasoned and uh, cooked chicken on top of the nachos, and sometimes even beans, because uh, Mogo is a fan of the Tex-Mex food. Uh, since Mogo uh, tends to spend most of his time alone, uh, he doesn't have to worry about the uh, uh, offending others, so Mogo's free to consume as many tasty nachos as he would like. David, thanks again for the question. If you have a question you would like answered by Mogo the Living Planet, please email it to askmogo at gmail.com.